This is the 17th video in the video series of Orbital Canvas with Python. This one, I'm going to talk about the end body perturbations theory. So I'm going to start splitting up my videos in between theory and application. Um, number one, because the videos are getting a bit long and I want to make them shorter. And number two is that I bring, I feel like I bring a different perspective to orbital mechanics because of the fact that I'm strictly concerned with applying it into software. So there might be a little bit different perspective of explanations of these concepts. So the first part uh, for the end body problem is you have to understand the geometry, so which starts with the relative positions. So we have three vectors here that are going to be necessary. So the first one is this R vector. And I'm using a naming convention that I already have in software to make it a little bit simpler. So R is just what you have from orbit propagator. It's from the central body to your satellite. So we already have that. And then this R C B to N B, which I'm calling it's since for central body to nth body. Um, you're going to get from spice files. Just like I showed in the last video how you can get the position of, say, the Earth relative to the Sun, you can do the same thing with any other two bodies. So this is going to be taken care of with spice files, and the vector we're going to need to calculate is this R sat true body. So the vector pointing from the satellite to whatever nth body it is. And the way to find that from those two vectors is through vector addition. Um, so, you, so as far as vector addition works, it works tip to tail. So you start here at your central body, and then you go um, RCB to NB, which is the vector from the central body to whatever the nth body is. And then you're going to want to subtract the R vector. So when you subtract vectors, all you do is you just flip their sign in every axis. So make it positive, negative, negative, positive in all three axes, because this is a 3D problem. Um, so you just flip it, so it goes the other way. And then the resulting vector starts from their origin and ends up wherever the tip to tail ended up. So that's how vector addition works. And that's how you can calculate this R sat to body. So from that, we look at the dynamics, the perturbation equation, the acceleration equation. And from this, I just have, I just found a paper online, um, Texas A&M University. Uh, I'll post a link to it. Um, the only thing I really wanted to show is just, this is the perturbation or the acceleration equation. We have R double dot is the acceleration. And this first term is just the two-body acceleration, like you've seen before. And second term is from, in this example, they have the moon, but it can be whatever nth body. And it's g, gravitational constant, m2 is the mass of the nth body. And these two terms, which are the um, 1 over r squared uh, equations, where this d um, is the position of the moon relative to the satellite. So that's satellite to moon which satellite to moon is this one, so sat to body. And then this r prime is the position of the moon relative to the earth, which is here, so earth to moon, r c b to n b, which is what we already had. So that's why I want to bring up those vectors, and this is just how you calculate the acceleration of the nth body. Dynamics. Yeah, so that's it for this video. As I said, I want to make these shorter, and I want to start splitting them up, so I didn't do any Python on this one. But the next one, I'm going to go over how to actually I'm um, just put this dynamics equation and use the spice files in order to be able to calculate the nth body perturbations. So, yep, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know anything too slow or too fast. And uh, thank you for watching.